We simply have to focus on this man. Well, Derek, his greatest attribute is just knocking it past the defender, getting to the ball quickly, getting his foot underneath the ball and getting it to the far post. That's what he's best at doing. Welcome to Goodison Park, will you please welcome? It's Everton. They take on Crystal Palace live. The Toffee Man! Good evening from the football hotbed that is Merseyside. We find ourselves tonight at Goodison Park. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Everton up against Crystal Palace. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, he can't believe his side haven't taken the lead there. That was a big chance. Delivering it, aware of a threat, solving the problem, and the keeper able to hold on to it. Anderson, Epinacci, Essi on the ball. Could be onto something. Could play it in. Really good build up, but no end product. Amadou Onana. Harrison. And they're going to forge ahead. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Potential. 
really a dangerous position. But nothing comes of it. Calvert Lewin. Jack Harrison has it. Calvert Lewin. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. It's a short one. And a good looking ball. Oh, good save. Excellent header. Smuggled behind for another corner. Can they pick out? Real need to get rid of it. Oh, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. And space to cross it. Well, given the position he found himself in, he really should be testing the keeper. Superb opportunity squandered. committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw in Izzy nice looking pass there's a cut back well he stopped them in their tracks has it and through goal McNeil it needs an accurate cross and they're moving the ball neatly enough he's looking for that decisive pass is it going to be and he's kicked to them holy stretch somehow reaching it Here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Well, just look at his reaction. That could prove to be a massive goal for his team. a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. The electronic board lets the fans know three minutes of stoppage time. 
Passing it through. Foiling his opponent completely. They're trying to get right into his face. The tackle completely missed time. And you would expect a booking under the circumstances. But the referee not messing about. He's cautioned him. Well, it had to be a yellow card. And he knew it was coming. The first half has come to an end here at Goodison. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. So, the ball rolling again. Palace trailing after the first half. Can they come up with a response here in the second? He just wasn't going to part with the ball. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. and patience, the watchwords. McNeil. And back to Calvert-Lewin. Oh, how about that for the last line of defence? from this corner. Mark Duehi. 
Are you? Really good build up, but no end product. for full time and it's an Everton success story whatever way you look at it three points for the Toffees what did you think of the performance? Yes Derek there wasn't much in it to be honest really competitive game with chances at both ends but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end Well as we run the rule over this man's work positive after positive Stuart Well he was a major reason why they won today he was so reliable and he inspires those around him 